Hi everybody. In this video I am going to show you my uh, workflow for how I created this character. I thought it was uh, turned out pretty well. So I'll just go, oops sorry, I got the wrong thing selected. Uh, so what I'm going to just do, this is my little building I'm creating. This is a little office building. Here's the, oops, here's the conference room. This is the conference room prop that's in the uh, Reillusion Marketplace. And then this is my building that I'm kind of building here. It's got I took the roof off, so got the conference room right here. Kind of a couple of executive offices over here, and then we've got this is our little uh, parking garage. I made this little uh, texture here with the parking spaces using my site pixeldatabase.net but we'll go ahead and get started in character creator sorry I was just I go on tangents a lot so let me select our character this is the face I had created I already changed the skin a little bit before I started but we have to do a little bit more after I create the character so I'll go ahead and just say generate so this will take just a second so we'll go back and uh, I'll show you some more of this while we're kind of these are some things I want to uh, got the see the driveway oh the driveways on that side there it is so okay and that'll take just a second but this is uh, let me put my roof back on where's our roof Okay, so I don't know, I think my, I like my, uh oh, whatever I just did there is not what I wanted. I didn't even have the, I didn't want that. Okay. So let's see if this is done yet. Nope. Okay, so we'll give this just a second. The beard is one of the last things it does, so. But this, uh, I think the flower bed even turned out pretty good. That was just, a, I just took a, a, a box and squashed it down and, Put like one of the asphalt textures, and it oh, turned out pretty well, I think. We'll go back over here. Let's see. Okay, I guess I can tell you a joke here while we're waiting. All right, uh, let me think of a joke. Okay, well, never mind. Good. Saved by the bell there. Okay, so here's our character. That's why I say he looks kind of pale is what I noticed after I created him so what we're gonna do is edit the skin texture which is so I'll just go over to here we're gonna activate the editor yes we want to save what we've done so far sorry I'd been up for a little while but it's 4 30 in the morning and had to get something to drink okay now we're going to activate our little skin base. Now there's four of them. I'm going to just save them all. It's a little easier to save them all. There's, I'll just, I call this uh, head. And then we'll go with body. And we'll go arm. Should be arms, uh, plural, but go with it. Arms, and then finally legs. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is go over to my site, which is pixeldatabase.net. This is deposit photos, this is where I bought the the photo. I have no affiliation with them right now, but they have a sale right now by 100 images for $80, and you can use it within a year, so it's a pretty good deal. Usually I pay $100, and I would probably buy that right now if I wasn't broke, but so we'll uh, just go over to my site, and I will select, we'll just do arm first, doesn't really matter. And it's on my list to put a little progress bar I may work on that while I got some time this Christmas weekend. Okay, now I'm going to just say update, set, adjust. First, I'm going to do blue green minus, and I'm going to go 
Um, I've already done this once on that pitcher before we started, so I don't want to do too much, but I'm going to say blue-green minus 30. And then next I'm going to say red plus uh, 10. I don't want to make it too red, but... Okay, that's just going to make him a little bit less pale. And we'll do the same thing for all of them. So on my list to make this have a batch but I don't have that working yet okay so we'll just call this arms 2 and then we'll close that get body it's kind of manual having to do four textures but I can understand why okay and we'll just do the one that's on our clipboard and we'll do blue green minus 30. I believe that's what we're doing. And we'll call this body 2. And this time it is head. The head is the biggest because the headshot photo I used is uh, pretty high res. So it's like 4,000 by something pixels. So sorry, this takes a little bit to load. I'll get another drink. And I'm sure there are people that have given up thinking it didn't work that uploaded an image because I've done it. But if you're just patient, as long as your internet connection's working and my site's working, this should finish in just a second. I could have used a little bit smaller texture. I'm probably using a little bit too big a texture for the head, but that's okay. We'll just do the blue-green first. That, that just takes the blue and green, because this, this image was a grayscale image originally, which I didn't realize when I bought it, but but that's okay. Okay, and here we're just going to do the red again. Just a little... He's from Miami or something. Get a little bit of sun. Okay, just a little redder. And this we will just call head 2. And the last one is going to be the legs. And sorry if I kind of mumble when I'm doing this. I'm just not the best announcer. I'm just kind of showing you what I'm doing. Okay, and now we'll do the blue-green minus 30. And sorry my keyboard's kind of loud. Okay, and we'll download that. And that gives us our legs too. Okay. So now we are going back to character creator and we're just going to set in, we'll put legs first since we have it already here. And I'll go down and show you, you should be able to tell. Okay, see that's so gross to me seeing a man with a, a Munich like that, so we'll just not show that. We'll go to arms, do that next. This just gives him a little bit of... You know, I'm not sure it's the best color, but it gives them a little texture. You can play around with whatever color works best for you. And this was body two. And then we'll do the head last. And I know you could probably do some of this in uh, whichever photo editor you want. I just like mine because I can do the individual channels. I know there's probably other graphics program that also do that. But okay, so now we've got our character. We've got a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some hair. So I was looking at hair earlier. Let's see which one I had selected. Bring it up. Okay, it was this one. 
Yes, deactivate skin gen. Sorry, I forgot to do that. And he's not going to look exactly like our photo, which is actually, I mean, that's okay. I know you want, sometimes you want like a celebrity, you want to be as exact. But for this, a lot of times I want to be just, uh, you know, something original. So it's actually better, but it's not a real person. I mean, it doesn't, the, the stock photos have a model release 99 times out of 100. But for a dollar, you know, can't really guarantee that even if they say they have it. But what we're going to do, even though... You know, there's some similarities here. I'm going to show you how I modify the head shape. And I found this. I just so happened to uh, just was playing through trial and error is how I found some of this. I haven't played around with it that much. But this one called Anya, I think it was. Uh, it was real. It was in this. No, it wasn't this one, but it was close to here. Let's see. Hang on. There was one of them that had a shape that I kind of, I just had to barely click it. Let me see. It was one of the, it was actually strange because it was a female character, but it did what I needed. And there's nothing uh, sex, you know, gender specific about, let me type in Anya up here because I know, oh, they don't have, yeah, they do have search. Is there anything called, yeah, there it is. And it was just a little bit, but there, it just kind of made his head, like, grow a little bit vertically. I don't know if you noticed that. Let's put it on 20, just a 20, but just a little bit. That seemed to, it seemed like, and it's probably, he's got a little bit more square on the top, but, and the hair is not going to look the same, but what we're going to do to the hair next, I just opened up the color editor for the hair. Let me get the hair selected. Select this and go to the this and I just took the saturation and put it to negative 30 or something like that and we'll go to because we want it to be kind of a you know you, this is a good way to do the age I think it's the closest to let me look at the modifier there's a couple of hair things you have to do uh, negative 30 and then the scalp So that's a way to, you can set a good amount of, you know, kind of set the age. The scalp I don't really like on this as much as some of the others, but that's good enough for now. So now what I'm going to do is just dress him, and I'll show you what I normally do. So I'm going to go over to this right here. I'm going to go to, we'll just put a pair of jeans on him. This is what I normally do for, you know. This is a software company scene that I have over here in iClone, just to kind of show you. Oh, back, I already showed you that, but yeah, they're, they're a, let me go to the, one of my characters. Yeah, they're a software company, so they, you know, the, the programmers wear jeans, the suits. You know, they have salesmen and execs that wear suits, probably, or dress pants, but most of the programmers, they're lucky if they have pants on, I think. So, that's what we're doing. Sorry, just showing you what we're doing. And next, I'll put a. I'll show you how I made the shirt. I just went to shirts, plain base, and I. I don't know if this comes with. Uh, I, I bought so much stuff that I can never really remember what. I'm in the wrong place. Sorry, that plain base. And I'm just putting a T-shirt on him. And a fit body shape is what I've found to always select. So if you don't it doesn't fit the body shape so fit body shape okay and that looks good sometimes you have to do a little bit of conform but on this it doesn't look like we even need it and then next what I'm gonna do is I bought this stock photo just for this video go over to my graphics shirts folder this one and when I first put it on I didn't really like that but then if I went to the UV settings and I changed the offset for the U which I don't exactly know what U means but I think that looks okay just by something you could play around with whatever number you know looks best but it's okay there so that's all I was trying to do was now another thing I usually do the shirts come with I don't like that much glossiness that looks a little Depending on how much lighting you have, that can look a little fake. So I turn that usually 
quite a bit down. I might leave a little bit, like an eight or something like that. And then the specular, I either turn it off or maybe I'll, this doesn't seem to get affected too much by it, but sometimes some of the black or darker backgrounds, the specular looks, it's like this difference between zero and one is very bright and, you know, and not bright at all. So it's a little too much, but that looks fine right there. I could, if I really wanted to, I could make my, I could play around with the UV editor and fix that. So that and that kind of a line up, you know, wouldn't be that hard to do, but I'm not going to bother with it for this video. We're just going to put some shoes on him, which is, and same thing. I just took the plain base shoe, tennis shoe, go down and show you that. Sorry, have it off camera. Okay. And then I have a, a shoe texture that I made in my previous attempt at this 40 I made a 40 minute video and it I didn't have the microphone recording so I felt kind of stupid so I started over so back to shoes so go to okay and here's the one I was going to use that was uh, just to show you the little shoe texture I made I made it with my site I just all I really did was take the shoe that kind of gray shoe let me see if I can find it in my shoes one of the tennis shoes have a... Hang on. It's one of the shoes that just come with, like, I saw it when I first got iClone. Let me just search for sneakers. Yeah, it was this one. So if you can see that picture, let me put my mouse over that. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll just do that and put it back, but that's the, yeah, I want two pairs of shoes. I never understood why iClone asked you that, but that's all I did was take that image and modify it to get to that. So, it's, I don't know if that's the best color. It's just a color I chose to not be, because I've got a bunch of characters that have already worn that before. So, okay, so that is my character. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I did, but that's pretty much, uh, all I had to do, oh the eyes, that was the other thing, I think I changed out the eyes, sorry. Let me look at his eyes and see. It's not too bad, but let me go to content. And I think I went to like, I didn't use that one, but a lot of times I do. I don't like that one, it was one of the, Uh, it's a little bit too big of a pupil. Some of the ones. Let me see. Not purple. Sorry, it's not what I meant. There's a certain eye. There's some of the ones I like have like less. Not that. Yeah, we'll do Christie's eye. Doesn't matter if you use a female too. There we go. That's good enough, I guess. So that is my character. I don't know. I think it turns out pretty good. And I probably could do this in 10 or 15 minutes if you don't count the... It takes iClone a little bit of time. And you have to, you know, modify four textures. And But I don't think I even had to do anything. The eyelashes don't look, you know, they look good enough for, you know, an animation. So that's, that was just my little character tutorial. Let me know what you think if you have any... Comments, suggestions, or video request. Thanks for watching.